In this video, we will be doing a top-level overview of our Chariot platform. For a more detailed and personalized demo experience, please reach out to schedule a free consultation. We will be providing contact info at the end of this video. When you first log into Chariot, you will see a list of sites. You can use the filters at the top of the screen or the map to the right to drill down into whatever site you're looking to get information on. Once you have found the site that you are wanting to work with, simply click into it. On this page, you will see all the equipment that you have installed on your site that you have sensors attached to. Up top, you'll see that we have lighting controls. No matter how many lighting zones you have, you can view and control them from here. Simply click on the toggles to turn your lights on or off. If they are turned off on site, the toggle will reflect as such. Other equipment such as beer caves, deli coolers, and fuel dispensers will also be visible here. If you have any custom notifications set up, those will all show in descending order to the right. You have several views of this page. You have the devices view, which groups them specifically by devices. You have a grid view, which just gives you a different layout that is more operations focused. You also have a floor plan view. For this view, you would need to provide a drawing or a blueprint of the interior of your site in order to plot equipment in a manner that you can quickly drill into to see information. You can add additional layers, such as an exterior view. or a street level view. In this case, we've plotted smart meters on the vacuums of this car wash. And you'll be able to see the kilowatt usage of these vacuums thanks to the smart meters that we have attached. On the topic of smart meters, we also have a view where you can see your energy usage for all the equipment that has smart meters attached. Now, we have this coded to be mock data we don't anticipate to have as many peaks and valleys in your electric usage as you see here. This is simply for a visual example. Where we do expect to see a lot of peaks and valleys is if you're creating trends and reports for data analysis. In this example, we have the space temp of the store as well as a deli cooler. And we have these points brought up to look for correlations between the two. Is our deli cooler getting warm because of the ambient temperature inside the store? You'll also see that we have several views that you can look from there. If you do have an issue where your deli cooler is exceeding, say, 40 degrees, you might want to configure a notification to be able to alert you that there is a potential issue that you need to be aware of. In order to do this, you simply select New Rule, select the name of the store, and then add the parameters of the rule as you see fit. In this case, deli cooler. And we're going to say, if this thing's warmer than 41 degrees for more than 15 minutes, then we're going to send a notification. In this case, we'll mark it critical, do it by phone so it will send a text to the prescribed number, and either use default notification text or custom notification text, whichever works best for your workflow processes. Now, if the cooler is over 41 degrees for 15 minutes, a text will be sent to the number we just provided. Lastly, one of the really neat features that we have is the ability to view your uh, skimming protection devices if you have any installed on your dispensers. In the event that there's an unauthorized breach at one of your dispensers, one of these big red alerts will pop up at your point of sale system. You'll be able to go in and clear the alarm and leave notes as needed. In the event that you have an ASO on site, you can put your dispenser in maintenance mode. It'll still log all opens, but it won't trigger an actual alarm, say if you need to change paper. And then it'll have that icon to indicate that it's in dispenser mode and it will revert back to regular mode as soon as the prescribed time has elapsed. Our newest feature is Asset Manager. 
Think of this as a virtual file cabinet for all your equipment data. Whether it's warranty documentation, photos, manufacturer information, owner's manuals, spec sheets, even components of pieces of equipment such as with a car wash where you have vacuums, pumps, etc. All those things might have different warranties, might have different service information. Whether it's warranty coverage, scheduled maintenance, or simply reminders, all that can live here and you no longer have to worry about which filing cabinet you have this in because it can be accessed from anywhere, anytime, by anyone who has access to Chariot. We have a new addition to this where we are able to integrate with QR codes to add and update information as well. If you like what you've seen and would like to learn more, please contact us today. We would like to schedule a personalized demo and free consultation with you. No matter the size of your buildings, we're happy to help. In the next video, we're going to have a broader discussion on our capabilities around lighting and lighting controls. If you like this series, please be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. We regularly post videos about smart building topics and would love to help you however we can.